We're going to look at a different type of AC fault now, the kind that is caused by damage wire that causes a short circuit, not an open circuit. So let's take a look at how we would diagnose that. We begin by looking at our choices. What are our operating conditions indicated? We look at the display. We see we have nothing on the display and no lights. So back at our menu choice, we choose no lights and AC fault. So something's wrong on the AC side. We begin our systematic approach. Is the AC disconnect handle up? Indeed, it is up. Yes, so that's not the problem. We open up the panel door on the main service panel. And we look, is the solar breaker tripped off to the right? And indeed, yes, it is. I'm looking there and I'm saying, put my cover back on here. I'm seeing indeed that my breaker is off to the right. You see that? It's tripped off to the right, it's tripped down. So that means there is a short circuit. The breaker is tripped. So I say, yes, the breaker is tripped. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, first thing I check is, is the rating on the breaker at least 30 amps? And indeed, it is at least 30. So we're good with that. So the breaker is the right size. So now we know we have some sort of short circuit on the AC side. So let's go find out where it is. So we want to check at the other end of our circuit, which is here at the inverter. So the first thing I do is turn that uh, disconnect switch to off. And then I open up the cover. And I bring up my multimeter. And I'm going to move it over here to the side. And it's already set on resistance. It's already set on ohms for resistance. Because what I want to check is the resistance in the wires to see if I can identify a wire that has zero resistance to ground, because that would be my shorted wire. So it says, at the inverter, measure L1 to ground any zero ohms readings. If I look at my uh, more info question mark here, if I bring that up, it always explains more what to do. Trip solar breaker may indicate that a short circuit is in the AC wires. So move the multimeter, set the dial to ohms of resistance, which we've done for you. Connect the black probe to the ground bar and connect the red probe to L1 and L2 to check and see if you get zero resistance. So I'm going to take my black probe, click on it and drag it. I'm just dragging it here and I take it and I place it at my ground bar. I'm going to take my red probe and I'm going to play around here a bit. I'm going to place it on the red wire, L2. I just want to do that just in case. So I'm just going to place it there. And the reading on my display, I'm going to bring myself back here. The reading on my display says OL, which stands for open loop. That doesn't stand for overload, it stands for open loop, which means it's open circuited, which means there's no connection from the black probe on the ground to the red. And that's good. There should be no connection of the wire to the ground. It means open loop, it's open circuited. That's okay. But if I click on it and drag it over here and place it on the black, ah, look, I get zero ohms. And that indicates that now I have zero resistance from this wire to ground, which means I have a short circuit on my L1 or my black wire run back from the inverter back to the solar breaker. So I've identified which wire has the short circuit. That was important. And now I can continue with my investigation. So. Does the L1 read 0 ohms? Yes. OK, there's a fault in the L1 somewhere. So I go back to my, in, uh, my main service panel, and I begin to inspect to see if there's any damage. So what I'm going to do is click on the cover that's highlighted, and it removes the cover. And I'm given a close-up view of the wiring at the uh, exit of my main service panel. I don't see any damaged wires there or anything. so. Um, any damaged wires? I would say no, not at this point. So now I'm just systematically moving from the main service panel, the AC disconnect. I would move through all my boxes down to my inverter to try and find where my damaged wire is. So my next point is my AC disconnect. So I want to open the cover. So I touch to open the cover. Ah. Is the L1 or black wire damaged here? And the answer is yes. Now I can see pretty clearly, right? I can see the damaged area. Somehow maybe when the wire was pulled, it got scraped. The insulation got scraped off somehow. And now the bare copper is making contact to the uh, penetration point in the AC disconnect. So that's where I'm getting my short circuit to ground. 
in my L1 or black wire. So is there damaged or shorted on the ADC disconnect? And the answer is yes. So I found the fault, L1 damage. So click on the damaged wire to repair it. So what we allow you to do is just touch on it. You brought up a choice here that says replace the wire and that's what you're going to click on. And indeed now, congratulations, you've fixed the installation. Now, that process would actually be pretty complicated. <laughs> you would have to pull out the wires, create a new one, and pull new wires all the way back through. So there's a bit of work done here, but we did it pretty quickly for you. But at least you found what the problem was and you identified how to solve it. Just to have a bit of fun, just to show you how we turn things back on then, if we want. Don't have to at this point, but I just want to have some fun. Turn this switch to off. Go over here to our teleport locations. Go back to our main service panel. Go back to that circuit, solar circuit breaker, which was off, remember? I'm going to put the cover back on by clicking on the cover. And I'm going to click on the breaker, because now I'm starting to repair my system. So that was off. So I'm going to turn that back on. Then over here at teleport. Going to go back to the AC disconnect. I'm going to touch the cover to close it. I'm going to turn that disconnect switch back on. Then back at teleport. Actually, go to the inverter wiring section down below. I'm going to touch the cover to put it back on. Look up here to my display. I now have a blinking green, which indicates that I have connection to AC power, but I'm not exporting any power yet. So then I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to click my handle to on, turn my switch back on. And indeed, I indicate now that I've got my power back on and a solid green light indicating that I put the power back on. So that's a way to step back through the process and turn the system back on after you've solved that AC faulted wire problem. Hey, thanks for watching the training video using Interplay's simulation-based training program. You can keep watching our solar videos by clicking on the link to your left, or stay up to date on our latest solar snacks by subscribing on your right. To learn more about how the STP provides critical team training and helps you build an onboarding program at your company, please go to interplaylearning.com.